please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for updates. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making a piñata for my daughter's second birthday. So here we go. First, you want to start with your number two. Then you're going to use any old box that you have sitting around, as long as it's large in size, or enough pieces to piece together to make the number two. So after you have it all traced, you want to go ahead and cut your first piece. Okay, so now that we got that all cut out, we're going to take that same number two, and we're going to trace it on another piece of cardboard so we can get ready and cut it out. And using the two that we already traced and cut out is going to give us a nice little even number two. So when we place them both together, they'll be nice and even. Okay, so now that we're done tracing it, I'm going to go ahead and cut the other two off camera. And I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, so now we have our two pieces and now we're going to go on over and start hot gluing them together. And I really do apologize for not being in the frame of the camera and also for not turning my camera the other way. Y'all know I got a bad habit of doing this, but I'm working on it. And I do want to say that this was so very easy to make. So I believe in you guys. I know that you can do it. So stop going to those stores buying those expensive pinatas when you can do it yourself okay i mean who doesn't have a box laying around the house i know y'all be out there shopping at amazon like me okay so now you want to start getting your side pieces and i cut these in about four inches and the number two is actually about three and a half inches wide so now you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to start gluing on the cardboard all the way around the edges of the number two and just keep on going and keep adding pieces as you go and i do want to mention that i did get this hot glue gun from dollar tree i decided to give it a try i really didn't like it but i decided to keep going with it i do have a, a better one but i just decided to give it a try it was just a dollar so you know and it did get the job done. So if you want to go a cheaper route, I suggest it. And I also did get my hot glue from there as well. And it works just fine. So, so just keep on adding your side pieces until you're all the way complete. And I really do suggest uh, cutting them ahead of time. I was cutting them um, as I needed. But it'll work better if you just go ahead and cut them beforehand. Here, I'm just cutting more side pieces and I'm using whatever's left over from the box. So just keep on adding those side pieces and I do suggest you like flex it a little bit to give you a little bit more room, you know, like unstiffen it. So it'll be easier to maneuver and go around those curves. Okay, so once you get to the end, you want to go ahead and trim off the excess and glue those two pieces together. And I did add extra hot glue so I can make sure that it was fully secured. And the more hot glue you use, the more sturdier it will be because you got to think about that this is a pinata and you want to make it as extra secure as you like so it won't be so easy to break open. Okay, so now that we're done with those side pieces, you're going to go ahead and grab the number two. But I do suggest you fast forward to a little bit further than the video because I did forget to put the holes at the top. But it's up to you. I'm going to tell you how you can correct that. You can continue on or you can just fast forward to the part where I put the holes in the two because it's really recommended that you put those holes in there for the hanger before you put that top two on there. So just place that number two right on top and continue to glue it down to those side pieces. It should be nice and even. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add the holes for the hangers in case you forgot like I did to put the holes in it before I sealed it up. So you're going to take any old pin and you're going to just shove a hole right where you want it to be and also on the other side so you can string it through. So because I forgot to put the holes in it and put the string in it before I sealed the number two up, I'm going to have to open it up like how I just did. So I'm just taking that string out of this tissue tassel garland that I had laying around and I'm just going to use the string that's in there. You can use whatever string you want. So here I'm just going to take the string and fold it a few times to give it a little more extra sturdiness. And then I'm going to go ahead and rope it through the top of the hole and through the other side. And then I'm going to tie the ends together and then we have a hanger. Okay, so now that we're done with the hanger, we're going to go ahead and go over and hot glue that piece that we opened up to put the string through and we're going to go ahead and close it on up so this is our pinata all closed up and now it's ready for decoration so for this part you're going to go ahead and grab your garland roll or your tissue paper and you're going to cut them to the width of your number two and you're going to start adding your pieces with the hot glue just layering them one by one, starting from the bottom to the top. And I did start using my finger protector so I wouldn't burn my fingers, but later on, I'm gonna, I ended up taking them off because they were like pretty much in my way. And the glue really didn't burn my fingers that bad. It was just a little warm, but it, it's not, it won't be hot enough to like really burn you unless you really press like really hard on it. So yeah, this part is pretty much self-explanatory. You just want to keep on adding your, your tissue paper or your garland pieces until you complete the whole number two. And you don't have to glue them really close together. You want to at least leave about a half an inch, if not more, in between each space. You can trim as you go or wait to the end, but it's completely up to you. It's whatever your preference is. I do suggest you probably wait to the end because then you can see what is out of place and what needs to be cut. So this part was a little bit of a struggle only because of the angle of the number two and it was hard to get the hot glue gun to like reach that point. So you could probably just use like a a popsicle stick or something to try to like smooth the glue if you can't reach that point but other than that that was pretty much like the only struggle with this project everything else was smooth sailing i didn't cut enough tissue garland so here i am just adding more but try to cut as many as you can ahead of time because it will like make it so much easier Okay, so now we made it to the top. So now we're going to start adding pieces, just trying to start from the bottom to the top. And here you're also going to see me adding them the opposite direction. And here you can see how it's much easier just to add them from the bottom to the top because you won't have to fold them up and all that. So here I'm just adding the last piece to the bottom, trying to cover up the box as much as I can. And I'm also adding more glue to flatten down some of those pieces to make it look nice and neat.
Okay, so now we're going to move along to the front side of our pinata. So using the same method as before, we're going to cut pieces to the width of our number two. And we're going to go ahead and add pieces from the bottom to the top. And definitely be as creative as you want to. Use any colors that you want, any theme that you want. And also, I wanted to mention that everything that I am using, all the supplies that I am using, were all old supplies that I had sitting around. So you definitely can use whatever you have to complete this project. So here I decided to add the color black, which I later on took off because I did not like it. And here I'm just showing the picture of Gabby's dollhouse for the example that I was using in the color theme. And this actually was my first time making a pinata with a cardboard box. So I definitely know that if I can do it, you can do it. And this was my absolute very first time making a pinata with with the cardboard box the first time i ever made a pinata was back in high school and we used like a balloon so there definitely is many ways to make pinatas but i chose this route and it wasn't hard at all i really enjoyed making this pinata and i'm happy that i did film it even though it was my first time but that's just so you guys can learn from my mistakes Okay, so now that we're done with the front of the pinata, we're going to go ahead and start trimming. And then we're going to go ahead and start working on the bottom and the side of the pinata. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on the back and I'll be back when it's almost complete. Okay, so now we are back and we're going to go ahead and finish filling in the empty spots. And also I am filling in any gaps that I may have missed. So now that I'm finished filling in the gaps and trimming away the excess, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and start adding on my decals. I did already print out and cut all of my images out and I was positioning them to where I wanted them to be. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the same hot glue and start gluing them down to the pinata. Okay, so now that that is all done, I'm going to go ahead and start adding these longer tassels to the bottom to give it more definition. So I'm just going to take them and start gluing them to the bottom of the pinata. And as you can see, I already went ahead and removed all of that black that I didn't like. I did not film that part, but it was so very easy to do. Just pull, pull them off, just rip them off like you're ripping a regular piece of paper. So now we're going to go ahead and flip this pinata over and go ahead and do the same thing to the back side of the pinata. We're just adding those longer tissue tassels to the bottom of the pinata to give it more definition. And here I'm just trimming off the excess. So now moving along and we're going to go ahead and find a weak spot on our pinata so we can go ahead and cut open our pinata so we can stuff it with candy so you're just gonna like i said find a weak spot and go ahead and cut through i struggled a little bit with these scissors because they wasn't very sharp so get you a pair of sharp scissors or a blade and go ahead and cut it like a square so you can go ahead and stuff it with the candy and you do want to make sure that you don't cut the whole square out you want to make sure you leave the part at the top and close so it'll open just like a flap okay this is how the flap looks and then you can go ahead and fill it with candy and just close it over the top and you you don't have to tape it or anything you just leave it flat just like how i just did just fix it up you know just like that and it's already set to go okay so here is a better angle of the pinata it turned out all nice and pretty i did put that flower just to cover the hole and the kids really did enjoy it there's the birthday girl with the tutu on and 
I thank you all so much for staying to the end. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And I hope that it inspires you. And I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't so already, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.